Yeah, it's uh, it, it's blowing my mind right now that two, three inch beakers did all that. Yeah, I mean, it's baffling to me. The base especially is shocking. The, the amount of the amount of sound that's being projected by those little three-inch drivers are, is unbelievable. <laughs> that's just absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, it really is. I, I've never heard a speaker that small blossom and vanish like that. That's the biggest thing that jumps out at me. Very realistic, bold, yeah. That was remarkable. When it makes you smile like that, you really are looking around for, okay, what are they hiding? Yeah. <laughs> what are they hiding? I can see why you're so excited about these opening up hi-fi to all sorts of everyday people. I like to believe that most people are interested in getting into hi-fi. The problem is when they realize the enjoyment of this hobby often leads to a collection of extended loans, the cost of fun comes at a price that many people aren't willing to pay. Having done this for, well, quite a while, I've experienced pieces of equipment that exceed the retail of most cars, and I've heard fully decked out rooms that exceed the price of a house. So yeah, I get it. I completely understand the shock and awe of skyrocket prices. Yet, people want to connect with music. They're growing sick and tired of the background noise that's been crammed into their ear canals. And as far as I'm concerned, well, they're patiently waiting. patiently waiting for good news. Well, folks, the wait is over. And with a warm welcome back to New Record Day, good news is finally here. After checking out Steve Guttenberg's review of newcomers, Kvart Bogi? Kvart Wait a second. Hold, hold up. Stop the show. Stop the show. Hey, can, can we get them on the line? Guys, a little help here, please. Yeah, hi guys, Arvid here in Mexico. Uh, thanks, Ron, that's an excellent question. How do you pronounce your company name? And I could give you something, but I really don't speak Danish and I'm gonna have a weird accent. So I'm gonna put this on to Bjorn Johannesson, our acoustics designer, he's in Copenhagen, and he actually really knows how to do this. So he's gonna give you some Danish lessons on how to pronounce our company name. Hi, we pronounce it Kvart og Bølge. Yeah, what he said. So where was I? Oh yeah, after checking out Steve's review, I was eager to get my hands on the sound sommiers. Using a quarter wave design, these speakers are capable of extended bass well below the capability of the three inch drivers being used. Quarter wave designs can be tuned to much lower frequencies than your run of the mill bass reflex designs. For those with bad experiences of the dreaded one note bass or sudden drops of bass in ported boxes, the sommiers provide a smooth and natural roll off that keeps your music sounding big bold, and powerful. All things combined in ditching crossovers altogether, these speakers come with a laundry list of desirable qualities we'll be unpacking in today's review. So there are a couple of ways you can purchase the sound sommiers. Number one, you can jump over to their site or amazon.com and pick whatever finish they have ready to ship. Number two, you could take a walk on the wild side and go with some custom finishes from artists that really make these pop. Number three, and by far my favorite, you could send whatever you want to print on the speaker. Stop and think about that for a moment. Think about the possibilities. Need some suggestions on the wife approval factor? Sure, match the drapes. Oh, not enough, huh? Well, how about reminiscing about that romantic vacation to the Linen Wall in Prague? Easy peasy. Also worth mentioning for you artists out there, 
you might want to fire off an email and send over some artwork to these guys. Why? Well, because they're willing to pay you. And you get your design printed on a pair of speakers. How cool is that? Within the first few days of enjoying the review sample, I decided I wanted to buy a pair of these for my daughter's room. Yes, yes, I'm a dad now. So everyone take a look at this little sweet pea and say it with me. Ah. Okay, back to business. George's room is based on an adventure theme, and Sarah came up with the great idea to use a map of the world. After browsing Shutterstock, we found a couple images we liked and sent off several for rendering before Sarah picked her favorite. Before we knew it, we got the finalized image back showing how they would look on the speakers. Sent over payment by PayPal and Presto. Custom map speakers that sound awesome. Did I mention how much fun this was? I mean, seriously. One of the bread and butter benefits of a full range speaker is their ability to provide a wide range of great listening positions. The sommiers carry these strengths and offer a hassle-free approach to speaker setup. Now, if you really want to hear some magic, yank them away from the front and side walls with zero toe-in. Trust me, they don't need it. In my room, three to four feet from the front and side walls offered a great starting point. Backing these into a corner will only lead to early reflections, and trust me, these are going to knock your socks off when you pull them deeper into the room. Don't own a pair of fancy headphones? Heh, <laughs> try this one on for size. Plop the sommiers down facing each other, starting around 10 to 12 feet apart, and adjust to your liking. Sit down smack dab in between the speakers, and get ready for one heck of a wild ride. The manual describes this as headphone setup. I describe it as, shut the front door, this is awesome sauce. Creating a soundstage much bigger than most headphones without the need of being tethered to your preamp? Yeah, you guys are going to love this one. Along with the speakers, they sent over their little Class D amplifier to check out. This guy connects to the speakers with the included cables. It has no inputs, so you will be connecting via Bluetooth from a phone, tablet, or computer. They also offer an analog version of the amp with RCA inputs for those who want to keep it old school. Spec-wise, this baby is tossing out 40 watts per channel, which is a great starting point to get these speakers to sing. In fact, some of the opening commentary you heard in the intro was the reaction of people hearing these speakers with this amp running the show. While this review will concentrate on the speakers, it's fair to say that the amp certainly does the job. I can see it being purchased for simple setups or first-time listeners. At 119 including the high-quality speaker cables, it's good for the money, and I'll leave it at that. After trying out a few different systems in my house, my absolute favorite combo to pair with the sommiers ended up being a Van Alstine Vision preamp and an S500 from Red Dragon. Yeah, folks, these are not super sensitive speakers, so feel free to toss them some serious firepower to wake them up. Just keep in mind, you can overdrive them, so use common sense and keep the volume reasonable. All RCAs and power cords were outfitted with Zoo Audio's Event Mark IIs while using the included speaker cables that came with the amp. To top it all off, eh, a freaking VPI Avenger plugged into my Pass XP15. Overkill, you say? Heh, <laughs> I don't believe in such things. So, some of the reviewers out there mention how light these speakers are and make it sound like folks should be concerned with nasty gusts of wind somehow blowing them over. Know what I say? Hogwash. The bottom of these speakers are heavy metal and sure-footed. Even on thicker carpet, they will stand tall with authority and keep themselves planted where you put them. From the base up, the finish on the speakers is fantastic, and the quality of the prints will make you smile knowing they just don't sound great, they look great. I think it's safe to say that most audiophiles love to show off their system to their friends. There is something incredibly satisfying about watching the slow curl of a smile make its way from ear to ear on your buddy's faces as you toss them sound waves loud enough to compete with a Who concert. While the sommiers are not going to necessarily do this, they absolutely will bring smiles in other ways. Realistically, reaching peaks of 85 to 87 decibels is about the ballpark level of volume you can expect before they lose their composure. If decibels don't mean that much to you, let me say it this way. If you're searching for a loudspeaker that provides danceable music to a party, 
or you want to let your neighbors know just how much you really love Megadeth, then the sound sommiers are definitely not for you. They're designed to be loud enough for most people in a normal size listening environment. Also, while I feel the sommiers are versatile enough to cover most collections, I believe these speakers will cross the finish line when fed music that's well recorded and covering the lighter side of the music genres. Sorry, techno, punk, and hardcore death metal fans, I'm not sure if these speakers are going to tickle you in all the right places. If you want to know what the company is suggesting as music that stretches the legs of the sommiers, they have created an audiophile Spotify playlist definitely worth checking out. The top end of the sommiers is a notch on the energetic side of Treble Town. While I wouldn't make the mistake of calling them a bright speaker, there is more detail floating around on top than you might expect coming from a speaker without a tweeter. Remember when I mentioned that these guys don't need toe-in? I meant what I said, and believe me, my friends, these guys sound much better facing forward. For those who demand to play the sommiers toed in, well, you've been warned, and sadly, besides inviting a bit more treble to the party, you are probably missing out on some of the imaging magic an organic quarter wave design has to offer. If you read some of my fellow reviewers describing these as thin or bright, I'm willing to bet they skipped this part of the manual. So yeah, I don't mind being the cleanup crew. Dropping the needle on Blake Mills' hi-ho, I was greeted with top end that sounded exciting and detailed. Every note was surrounded by razor edge accuracy. Cymbal hits and splashes float in mid-air with fantastic realism. Details of acoustic guitars being strummed or plucked pop out of the stage with presence and compete with wideband speakers costing many times more than the sommiers. Even through the complex and busier tracks like Shed My Head, I didn't find anything to really nitpick about the top end. If pressed, I suppose there were a few times the top end sounded a tad sibilant or fizzy. Then again, I could say the same thing about so many other full range drivers. Bottom line, Everything I heard in Trouble Town quickly confirmed these little speakers will definitely please folks who like their top end served on the detailed side of the audio spectrum. When you sit down and drop the needle on the likes of Lord Huron's Strange Trails, the last thing you expect from a couple 3-inch drivers is to pull off what I have experienced. Vocals are big, bold, and not only have meat on the bones, there is a tone at play that is simply stunning. When you experience the perfect marriage of detail and campfire warmth woven together with cohesive clarity, the only appropriate reaction is... <laughs> wow. Moving into something a little more challenging to get right, I tried Dylan's Blood on the Tracks. Again, with more than enough meat on the bones and enough sparkle to keep the detail freak inside me satisfied, the sound sommiers took over the challenge with authority. Instruments were etched with laser line accuracy and glued together with cohesion that many speakers using crossovers can only dream to get right. Acoustics shimmered, drum hits sounded authentic, cymbals sounded sweet, and best of all, Mr. Bob Dylan was chilling out in the Brene household. Yeah, mid-range on the sound sommiers is a tough act to follow regardless of the competition's price of admission. I'm not going to make the mistake of overselling the base of these speakers being able to shake your couch or rattle the windows. Bjorn has done something incredible with his quarter wave design, and while I could probably tear it apart and try to better understand the principles, I think I'll just stick to just enjoying the magic that I hear. The bass is shocking. Every strength a quarter wave design offers has been checked off, and when you make your way through your music collection, be prepared for bass notes that not only hit the lows, they play everything in between. All too often with poorly designed bass reflex boxes, you will hear the notes the manufacturer wants you to hear. Unfortunately, as you climb up into the mid-bass regions, many of those speakers fall flat and sound thin. This is not my experience with the sound sommiers. As I dropped the needle on Nathaniel Rateliff in the Night Sweats, I was instantly grooving to bass lines that covered all the territory in the deeper regions of the music. Yeah, all things bass are a strong suit of the sommiers, and spank the competition I've heard using 3-inch drivers that do a great job of digging deep into wallets, 
but shy away from digging deep into the musical sounding bass. Bottom line, the tone and the deep extension of the sommiers deliver the goods on every promise a well-designed quarter wave speaker has to offer. You know, going into this review, I figured I would finish things up by using lines like, eh, these are good for the money, or not bad for a little speaker. Now, this is absolutely true and then some, but I'm going to be incredibly clear. The sound sommiers are incredibly well designed and sound fantastic. If you want to jump into hi-fi and you're willing to compromise concert level volumes in exchange for natural sounding deep bass combined with a sound stage and disappearing act that is second to none, these speakers come with my highest recommendation possible, regardless of your budget. Yeah. The wait is over, and your patience has been rewarded. This is Ron from New Record Day, and I bring you good news. It just happens to only cost 349 bucks. I did mention that is for the pair, right? 